to your Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. I'm your host, Gail Man, and it's Wednesday, March 9th. And what do chicken families do on the weekends? They have picnics. Now behold, my pet, Nugget Jr. Ta-da! I named him after my favorite person in the whole world, Robert Downey Jr. He played Iron Man. Now on to your weather. Hi, and welcome to your weather. I'm your host, Kyleen. But today, there, will, there is a 73% chance of rain with a high of 55 and a low of 36. Tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy with temperatures remaining the same. It looks like right now, your spring will, break will start off on the wet side with rain on Saturday and thunderstorms on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday are looking to be partly sunny right now. But you guessed it, rain moves back in on Wednesday and continues throughout the next week. High temperatures will remain in the 50s for your spring break week. Hope everyone has a restful spring break. See you in, in a week. And that's all, we ha that's all the weather we have for you today. Hello and welcome to your birthdays. Today is March 9th. I'm your host, Kylie. Now, all the birthdays have been celebrated over spring break. We have 13 of them. Preschooler Dylan Gravel. Preschooler Gabriel Garcia. Fourth grade Olivia Phillips. Third grade Asher Parson. First grader Jace Garrison. First grader Carly Conway. Seventh grader Peyton Kaufelt, seventh grader Lily Hawk, seventh gr Pearl Hoffman, fifth grader Lyndon Lakey, fifth grader Zachary Fields, Miss Cassidy Allen Preschool Para, Mr. Matthew Smith High School t History Teacher, Miss Michelle Pinkley Middle School Para, fifth and sixth grader teacher Brandy Norman. Now on to your Hello and welcome to your sports. We have no games during the week of spring break, but the day after we come back, we have middle school baseball and volleyball game. The volleyball team will travel to Kirbyville to take on the Braves at 5.30. The baseball team will travel to Purdy to take on the Owls at 4.30. Then on Wednesday, the baseball team will travel to Spokane to take on the Owls at 5. On Thursday, the volleyball team will play at home against the Southwest Trojans at 5. Then to finish off the week, Volleyball team will travel to Spokane. The game starts at 5. The baseball boys will travel to Kirbyville. The game starts at 4.30. For the high school baseball team, will play one game over spring break. They will play on the 17th against the Clever Blue Jays at 4.30. Then when we come back, then when we get back from spring break, the high school baseball team will play in the Exeter Baseball Tournament on the 20th through the 24th. The high school softball team will play the Marionville Comets at 5. Then on the 23rd, the softball team will play the Southwest Trojans at home at 5. Then on the 24th through the 25th, the high school softball team will play in the SWCL tournament. Thank you, and that's all for your sports. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Don't forget, we're not just the news, but the news with the Z. It's a good thing that Nugget Jr. Aww. Isn't just like his mother, who tried to kill me in the last sick news. Yeah, Ricky, and this is a random fact. Did you know sharks are the only fish that can blink with both eyes? Thank you. That's all for your random fact.